Yo, what is going on, you Rusty Rillaboom? Before we get into today's deck that we're going to be playing with, I want to give a big shout out to my new sponsor, PokemonCard.io. They're a site where people can upload and share deck lists. I'll be personally uploading all of my deck lists from my YouTube videos and from my Twitch streams and putting them on their PokemonCard.io link in the description. Okay, today we're playing some games with Urshifu VMAX. Now, this list, besides like one card, uh, I took to a, the phase two of the big chill TCG tournament, the biggest tournament on the Limitless tournament platform, I believe, that has happened so far. Hopefully, it just gets bigger and better. But yeah, I'm in phase two with this deck, which I'll be playing on my stream actually later today, twitch.tv slash GG around 6 p.m. Eastern. So if you see this video today, the day I'm uploading it, um, you can catch me playing with this list in the tournament uh, later today at 6 p.m. Eastern made phase two of the chill tcg tournament it is just urshifu v max uh with the jirachi engine so nothing super special there um and nothing super special at all to be honest i got you got the goon of course for extra damage with the scoop up nets and then we had the martial arts dojo so that's the main reason to play this build i feel like is the extra damage from the goon and you have plenty of space to play martial arts dojo because that's one thing that the urshifu v max can kind of lag sometimes it's just enough damage to keep up with the rest of the decks in the format i feel like you sometimes just lack damage uh but with the goon with the nets with the dojos um you can kind of keep up one of the main things that kind of holds urshifu, urshifu v max rapid strike back is the fact that like a ton of people play mew so we can't consistently g max rapid flow we can use it sometimes but consistently definitely not but um we usually can use it enough to keep up with most of the decks in the meta there are a couple decks that uh, we do take really rough matchups to one prizers can be a little bit tough Luke Metal is tough, but um, we're very good against stuff like Picaram, Eternatus, all kind of things like that. We even have the Giratina in here. So if we're playing up against something like an Eternatus and they got Weakness Guard Energy, we have that Dimension Breach to uh, disrupt them with that. And yeah, there's not too much I really want to say on the list. That's kind of the the main premise of the the deck is you just your main attacker, Urshifu VMAX. You got Jirachi in here. You have a ton of switch cards here moving in and out and all around. You got some air balloons as well. So we can like retreat our Urshifu VMAX. Stellar Wish with the Jirachi, and then scoop up Netter Switch back to the active, and then use Gale Thrust once again with the um, the Urshifu. And of course, four learning, four research, three boss, pretty standard as far as supporters go. I'm playing a four five on energy, which might seem a little bit light, and I'm not sure, too sure I like it myself. I might actually increase the basic energy count um, with a cut or two somewhere, but it's been working out so far, and it worked out in the tournament, so I've been rolling with it. But yeah, that is the list. Let's go ahead and let's uh, get into some games. All right, one the coin flip. We do want to go first because we want to get that turn two attack off before our opponent potentially does too much. Uh, we're not too far from it here. We just need a calm or a quick ball, which we do play four of each of those. And our opponent mulligan. So that's another plus here as well for us to try and get out that Urshifu V. I see E switch. I see swell. I've never played against ADP Zation with this deck. Um, so I don't actually really know how I feel about the matchup. It seems like if ADP Zation goes first, we're going to be in big trouble. Um, we have never played against it. Uh, myself so i actually don't know for sure let's get our mulligan to marnie it's a quick ball though uh they open their maw while as well which is really good for us so i'm gonna go ahead and quick ball away a probably some marnie and yeah, they open up their maw while which is really sick for us because now we don't have to really be too afraid of uh like keeping our hand size small because it doesn't matter they opened their maw while <laughs> it just doesn't matter as much um, I do kind of want a quick ball to get another Urshifu V into play now. So I can theoretically play around a situation where my opponent, um, I think we're going to give up the, I could give up the Dede even actually, to be honest. <clears throat> I don't really want a Dede change. I'm like thinking I want to give up the Dene here, but we might want it for the late game. We want a Marnie next turn. Boss is always super good. Uh, let's give up the research then, keep the Marnie. Yeah, I want to put another Urshifu V in play right now. Because if they turn one GX attack, but we can get out like double VMAX before they can get into a Brave Blade, then we can get into a spot actually where our opponent has to go through one, if not both of our VMAXs. And we can just we just don't ever have to bench Dedenne. We don't ever have to bench Crobat. We can even like scoop up at the Jirachi and kind of play it like Dragapult used to play against ADP Station, where you'd kind of just go two VMAXs and that's it. You just try and get your board state to two VMAXs and that's it and then you make them go through two vmaxes and we can kind of do the same thing against adp with urshifu vmax uh with this build specifically because we play the scoop up nets <clears throat> and we just don't have to put the down in this case they open them all while so kind of the energy we had to skip but they did we could get a, a calm off this actually let's go for that and not get the calm i don't want to marnie them basically is what i'm thinking here but i don't want to put the down either now I'm kind of torn. I wish I had kept my research around. <laughs> I don't know what else I should have given up, to be honest, but I do wish I had kept my research around. 
Um, hitting for 150, though, isn't bad. We could just go for the 150 hit. Let's take a switch, I guess. So we can switch back to the Jirachi. Yeah, hitting for 150 is kind of fine. Get full value to the escape rope right now. Just, yeah, just uh, give him a good old 150 punch. This can get punished by a Brave Blade from our opponent, but then they don't GX attack, and we sell this other for Urshifu V on our bench, so we can just kind of evolve that and then get the knockout like that. Um, so it, it wouldn't be too bad to be honest if they did get the Brave Blade on our active. We do have a follow up. We can hit for 150, and then it's we're just kind of in a fine spot um, overall. But this 150 just works out fine. I was like, do we, I really want to be met, but it's really not necessary to be honest. Um, there's a quick wall top deck. We could go Goon Ping on this, and then try and do 120, 120. So I really like that. So let's go for that. I'm gonna switch back to Drachi because we play so many switch cards. Um, and it has what? What well, has 130 left? Okay. And we're going to data change here. I don't, I don't want to data change. Like I mentioned, we could even sell a wish to look for what's it called, but I think we're just going to get us, this is going to get us so far ahead that it's worth the data change. This is where I think it's worth the data change and put the data in because we're going to get so far ahead theoretically that it doesn't matter as much. This hand, uh, go ahead and dump it with research. No cards in there. <laughs> there was cards. Oh no. Can we get a VMAX going please? No. Oh, that's gross. Uh, we can still sell our wish again to try and get an, a calm. That is super unfortunate. No VMAX, no calm. Um, scoop up net the Jirachi. Send up the Goon. Uh, bench Jirachi. Escape rope into Jirachi. Um, it doesn't really matter what they send up, to be honest. And we can always great catch this back to the active if we have to. But we're trying to get the calm. We failed. Um, hmm. Maybe take the net so I can switch back to Drachi if I want to. I guess that's got to be it, right? This does not feel good. This feels pretty bad to not have this thing VMAX because now Brave Blade can knock us out. Uh, we do have the Great Catcher here. Which, to be honest, is pretty great. We have the ADP back to the active. I'm going to net. Um, the Goon was basically irrelevant as well. Like the Goon ping ended up not mattering. We were trying to use the G Max Rapid Flow here. To knock out this and set up the Zation, we whiffed. <laughs> so we don't get to do that. And now this can get pretty bad for us pretty quickly, actually, to be honest. Because if our opponent gets off a Brave Blade here, it gets tough. It gets tough. It is really tough for us. We really want it to VMAX. Because then our opponent, if they want to hit into it, we're like, that's fine. We don't care about that. Um, but apparently their hand is so bad, they just conceded. So that also works. So I guess we're just going to walk away with a, a dub here against ADP Zation in this first one. All right, here we go again. We are going second this time, which we don't, we would prefer to go first. Uh, yeah, we just prefer to go first. Um, we are up against a rapid strike and there's the pal pad. So they're probably playing the healing build, which to be honest, I would have to imagine kind of puts us at a disadvantage for sure. Um, especially opening the Dene is obviously not great. Yeah, they are playing the healing build. Now, this Mencino has got 70 HP. So we can go for a knockout on it early with uh, Dojo or Goonping. So we have a couple ways we can take this thing out early on, which we're definitely gonna go for. Try and chase these Mencinos down aggressively. Maybe try and uh, track down their Mew at some point as well. Take a knockout on that. And then so we can like knock out more Mencinos. Cause like knocking out the, oh, they're putting the Dene in play, which is another two prize cards that is not, basically we're trying to knock out things that are not, or we don't want to attack Urshifu because they're playing the Mencino build, which means they're playing heavy Cheryl, which means if we just hit their Urshifu, they just heal it and then <laughs> they just heal the urshifu and then we're like oh okay well um that's things for us uh, but we can go like air balloon go with the dojo go with the marnie um definitely don't want to lose the great catcher great catcher is gonna be a great tool to kill this to Dene later on um we got a jirachi got a urshifu v max did not get a basic fighting so um we're not going to be able to actually get the knockout here unless I like got another quick ball and quick ball for Crobats and then got the Goon. But I think I just want a Stellar Wish here. Um, if I strafe into the Jirachi, it could just get knocked out next turn. So we're not going to be able to get this knockout here, unfortunately. Uh, we will just take that research for the following turn, I think. That's solid. We got the VMAX. We got the research. Uh, so they do have to find Mew. They do have to get Mew out here. Protect themselves from the potential of the G Max Rapid Flow. Otherwise, we're gonna take two knockouts on Sensinos. And if we do they clean up a decent amount of Sensinos of my opponents, then we can kind of put them in a spot where they can't. It's gonna be a lot harder for them to use the Cheryl combos constantly. So maybe to like heal, have the energy, have the backup V Max, have a switch card to attack again. It's gonna be hard for them to make that work. 
So if we just get the if we get this knockout here around the they don't get the mute down. If they don't get the mute down, we get to take out two Cincinos for a pretty good spot. Actually, they're just kind of in a terrible spot, it looks like. We're gonna try and take full advantage of that. We just need a switch card. We have an absurd amount of switch cards in this deck, so it should be no problem to find something. Yep, found a couple options here. <clears throat> Go with Stellar Wish first. Uh, could grab Calm, could grab Quick Ball. I do want a quick ball to grab another Urshifu to set that up. So I think we want to go use the quick ball. The question is, what would we discard? We could discard the goon, but that could come into play later for sure. I want the air balloon on this Urshifu. We're going to scoop up and at the Jirachi. I kind of need a quick ball target. And the Giratina I want in the deck as well. We could just grab the calm instead, I guess, and then save the quick ball. We can calm the Giratina back. Save that for later. And then we'll have to get the let's call it a different point the vmax um we'll have to get that next turn i'm not too worried about getting it to be honest and this should go here okay goon i'm a little bit less uh hype on i don't know like it just seems not as good they didn't get the mew down big deal for us we get these two knockers on this you know taking away their draw power which is the big thing no draw power for them anymore it's gone we got rid of it there's a research another research so that's gonna be good there's an urshifu, urshifu v we might want to set up a third but we have a fourth the Ur fourth urshifu v in the deck so i'm probably not going to bench this one i don't want to clog my bench and then not use it <clears throat> that would just kind of be a waste uh <laughs> i also maybe shouldn't have benched jirachi because now it gives them a target for strafe <laughs> apparently their hand stinks and all they have is strafe so this is really good for us there's a calm as well so now we can calm in the goon get that v max that was almost a i mean that basically was a perfect top deck and now that yeah like we took out their sensinos no draw power puts us in an incredible spot probably just gonna find something to research away here probably get rid of one of these jirachis don't need that anymore we already got the air balloon on the active like i said so we don't even need to find a switch card here we just need to retreat and attack uh got plenty of stuff for the, we did get the great catcher but i would rather while they're drawing poorly like i can ko the dedene at kind of any point i can go after the dedene whatever right shouldn't it be too hard to get chased down I want to deal with these Urshifus before they get into a point where they can start using Cheryl efficiently, because once they start using the Cheryl efficiently, then we're going to be in trouble for sure. And then we're not going to be able to get through these, so we may as well pressure them now while they're drawing poorly. If they continue to draw poorly, we just win. But if all of a sudden they start picking it back up and drawing pretty well, um, putting us in a pretty rough spot to keep up, then then we're going to really wish we had uh, gone after them, gone after Danny later like we're doing now. So this kind of is fine. It's set up in a almost optimal spot this is pretty close to optimal um i mean if they don't heal this we just get to go with that g max rapid flow again if they don't v max it then we get to go knockout and then set up damage probably on the other one some pressure there um or we could just put damage on the dene but damage on the Dene, i don't think really does a whole ton here we go they finally get off a g max rapid flow but yeah we're gonna i think we should just well we could hit up to dene i don't mind hitting up to dene here to be honest we definitely should g max rapid flow to take this thing out and then could hit the active, could hit the Dedene. V Max, Rapid Flow. This Dedene is, it would make it pretty easy to knock out Dedene. We have three nets left, so we could get like a triple net play going on. But I think I'm just going to hit this just in case. You know, they stamp us or they Marnie us. We can hit the active, but we can't draw into the way to KO Dedene. So at least we could like pressure the active again and put them in a spot where they have to heal the active at that point. So I think that puts in a little bit, it gives us a couple more options because if we get the gust effect, we should just be able to knock out the Dedene uh, for sure. <clears throat> Our opponent still needs a little bit to keep up here. There's a Mew. Finally finds the Mew. <laughs> Took them quite a while. It's just a Gale Thrust for 70. Okay, we don't have game yet. Uh, we have two prize cards left. We have the Great Ball. Or the Great Catcher, excuse me. Um, Escape Rope Switch. Net. So we want to chase the Dene down. We need an Energy. I'm going to go with... Um, escape Rope, I guess. I guess it maybe helps them overall to be honest because now it's on the bench run to the jirachi go with a quick well i'm not gonna keep the thing i quick ball anyways so let's go with stellar wish grab a calm got the great catcher All right, grab a calm we're gonna put one of the crobats back for later don't want to like lose the crobat for no reason i don't think i'm gonna take anything here um nah Go with the great catcher. Boom, boom. Bring up the Dene. Gonna net. Send this back up. Bench. Uh, retreat. I have the switch left. I'm gonna quick ball with. I'm not gonna use this. Uh, 
Not gonna fit. Take anything. <clears throat> Go ahead and crowbar for five first. Hold the switch because I want to like dig as deep as possible to find something. Okay, there's the energy, so it doesn't matter. We hadn't found the energy though. I want to dig as deep as possible to potentially uh, find, <laughs> to potentially find a draw supporter, so we can dig that much deeper into our deck to find us. Um, the energy right so we want to go like draw five and then see the top five instead of like see the top five not hit anything shuffle them all back and then we could draw into those same cards off the crowbat so it increases our chances of seeing a draw supporter there and hey works out before we even need the draw supporter which is that much better and we get a dub here in i don't, don't really want to call it a mirror match to be honest i want to call it like a it's almost a mirror match right but not quite um we're both playing rapid strike if we max i guess all right here we go again we did win the coin flip so we will be choosing to go first because that is just what we want to do and currently we're missing that v we got the v max got the energy as well a lot of uh, too much energy too much energy to be honest especially with the research in the hand um got the calm though so now we can just go well we can start with the stellar wish anyways if we get a quick ball i'd maybe opt for that instead to use that um and i think i will i think i will quick ball away in energy here we really just don't need this many energy to be honest okay Grab a V. Probably gonna calm for another V here. We can try and get both those into V maxes as soon as possible. Now we're playing up against some kind of fire deck. It could be Victini, it could be uh Senescorch. There's so many things it could be, right? There's so many things, so many possibilities. If it is Senescorch, I, I mean I feel like I can't not attach this energy. I really would like I would want to go for a G Max rapid flow. Um, and I guess if we top decked a rapid strike energy, then we would definitely go for that. I also don't want to run out of energy though, so I feel like I have to attach this. It turns out that was it's welder. What <laughs> welder rapid strike? They did just shuffle back in a rapid strike Urshifu. I can't be the only one who saw that. There's a dead edge change. So they're going for the flare starter. So they're flare starter and setting up a big rushy zard. Big thing here is, do they play Zigzagoon? Because if they play Zigzagoon, it's possible they can get a 1-hit KO on my Urshifu VMAX with Goon Double Net. That is a possibility. Um, we'll see if they play that or not. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Because they, they could play it. <laughs> they could play it. We'll see. Um, there goes the Charizard. So we know they play Mew 3. So it's Rapid Strike Urshifu Mew 3 dot deck. I don't know what to think about. It's interesting that they went for the Reshizard then instead of, um, interesting that they went for Reshizard instead of the, uh, start with Stella Wish because we got the scoop net. I do want Jirachi then, so we're gonna, we're gonna grab the scoop ball. Yeah, interesting that they, they went for the Reshizard instead of a Mewtwo then. Uh, I mean, they, they should probably assume I play Jirachi GX, right? But I don't have it right, right now. It could be prize couple things right that could be going wrong for me on that front so i was curious that um they went about it like that that's curious that's curious uh instead of getting maybe it's prize maybe they only play one mutual and it's prize i guess that could be another thing um goodbye that hello v max and we did get this great catcher which i think i do want to use here um punching this just seems a little bit better lose a couple switch cards but to be honest for this hit it's definitely worth it. Gale Thrust, 150. We got the next 150 set up. Or more more ideally, actually, the way we want to look to close out this game, we can do that 120 with the G-Max Rapid Flow. Put another 120 on the Volcanion. And then we're just a Gale Thrust from knocking out this Dedenne to win the game. Now, we are down our Great Catcher, which is one of the best ways to take these uh, rats out. But it doesn't mean we can't find a boss and do a boss combo. Yeah, so it's a Welder <laughs> Rapid Strike uh, Urshifu Max, Mew. they definitely have Mewtwo in here as well because it doesn't make any sense to play this card unless they play Mewtwo. So they definitely play Mewtwo as well. So it's Mewtwo, Rapid Strike. There's the Mewtwo. That's why it was important to get our Jirachi because they get like a Welder to this this turn. They could use Double Blaze, knock us out. But they're actually going with the boss on my Jirachi GX. I don't really ca care about this too much to be honest. Um, I I might though. If I don't get the, if I could get the, we could get on the next turn, I guess. This game's going to be over in two turns pretty much no matter what because the Mewtwo, if they, unless they whiff Welder, if they whiff Welder, then we would live a turn then we'd have another turn to work with so if they do with welder we would be fine to be honest uh, but i'm feeling confident we can close this out in two turns jojo's good jirachi's good urshifu v is a card technically i don't know if i want to i want to bench it i don't know if i want to bench it though i don't think we could though i don't think so Ooh, it was kind of close now though no, I don't think we're benching it, though. Because if we get a calm, then I'd like to calm it away, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, if I don't get a Pokemon off the prize cards, uh, but I get a, a calm off the top deck, hey, there's Goon. 
uh, or something like that, then we do want to be able to do it like that. I think with two net left, I'm always looking for that like <clears throat> G Max Rapid Flow Quad Goon Ping on the Dedenne Knockout. A little bit hard to do. We're not going to be able to do it this turn. All right, there's the Wellers to the Mewtwo. So they need very little to take a knockout on our Urshifu. They got rid of our or what's it called <clears throat> our Jirachi and then the Mewtwo will be able to pretty much knock out anything else I send up from here so we basically have to win this turn or leave our VMAX on the bench <clears throat> and hope our opponent does not have boss and yeah our win con is rapid flow knock out Dedenne knock out Volcano so we also have to <laughs> boss up the Dedenne is so much harder uh than with the, the Great Catcher makes it a little bit easier to be honest Great Catcher does make it a little bit easier but not gonna happen yeah, so we're we're in an interesting spot and that we can always leave it on the bench and then just like play Marnie and then hope our opponent whiffs. That's also a route we can take. I doubt they play a ridiculous amount of boss, a ridiculously high amount of boss. They could, um, but I doubt it's too high. We've seen one in this card pile right here. I mean, they probably play an Elder Goss, but now they're bench locked. So we hit them with that Marnie. And I just have to have the boss in hand. And if not, maybe we can pull out the dub on the other side. All right. Goodbye, Urshifu. Set up the Jirachi. We're looking for comms and quick balls. We want Chromat. We want the Dene. We want... Um, I don't know. There's the comm. That's what I was talking about. The comm's cool. Comm's cool. Um, start with Stellar Wish or comm. Let's start with Stellar Wish. Another comm. Could also take the switch instead. Take the switch instead. Go bench. Net. Send up Jirachi. <clears throat> Stellar Wish. Ape rope. I like it. Stellar wish again. Ape rope to Tarashi again. And they can send up whatever they want. I mean, they have to not send up Dedene Acrobat or Dedene. But besides that, then kind of all the rest of them would be fine. <clears throat> Dojo, I guess, to prevent the hearth is best. But there's the boss, actually. So maybe we do have to take the boss here. Let's take the boss. Boss up the Crobat versus the Dene. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and come away the Zigzagoon. Grab ourselves the Crobat. The hand. Uh, hearth away. Research. They're in there. We did prize one. Switch. And Crobat for five. And then we can Dedene if we draw into a Pokemon search card. We can Dedene. We got the Dojo as well. Here we go. Dede change. Um, so we can't do the Marnie play anymore. I already found the boss. So I went with the boss immediately, which I think is probably correct. But here we go. Dede change. Three energies in the deck. Three Rapid Strike energy. We need to hit one of them. We hit one of them. Okay. So we pull out the dub. It was a close one here at the end, though. The opponent had a really cute Outrage play. But the Volk Beaten play is going to be the, the killer for them in the end and uh, get us that dub but it was close that was a very close one uh overall uh able to just squeak it out there in the end and that's gonna do it for these games with the rapid strikers if you guys like the games enjoyed the list give you a like and i will see you guys tomorrow